I'm Amanda Yellow, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is the Brown Magpie Pinot Noir. It's the single vineyard from 2018, or the fr fruit has been sourced from Geelong in Victoria. Pinot Noir actually comes in a multitude of different styles. It sort of depends on your mood as to what you'd like to drink. Um, people who love Pinot Noir are mad for it. A lot of people who like bigger style wines sometimes don't see the joy in a moderate uh, bodied wine. This is moderate body, it tends to have a lot of those red fruit characteristics. It does have tannin, but it's a lower level of tannin. It tends to be fine grain tannin as well. So uh, Brown Magpie is actually based just off the Great Ocean Road. It is in Geelong. It's a small uh, single vineyard estate. All of their wines are obviously single vineyard that way. And I do think that you see the joy out of that wine. And when you look at Ocean, Ocean Road, it's particularly cold, it's windy. You'd be worried about disease pressure, but they get this lovely sort of um, breeze come in that can actually slow down the disease pressure so they don't have to spray as much, more of a minimal intervention. Pinot Noir is a very, very fussy grape. It needs to grow in a cool area. And if it's not grown in a cool area, you get a flabby wine. When you do grow it in a cool, marginal climate, you get this lovely sort of acidity and this freshness and this brightness. For me, the beauty of Victorian Pinot Noirs is when you get that lovely sort of Italian bitter sort of, you know, almost Aperol or Cranberry or Campari even. I love the nose on this wine. It's really quite perfumed. At the second you get it near the nose, you can smell it. The bouquet is just floral, red fruits, a little bit of rhubarb, maybe some pomegranates, uh, a little bit of sweet raspberry as well on forest floor. It's a beautiful wine. For me, it just has this lovely sort of zippiness to it. Layers and layers of red fruit, freshness, a little bit of forest floor, a bit of that truffle almost mushroom sort of note. So almost a touch of sandalwood, I think, which would be from the oak contact. But for me itself, this is a joyful Pinot Noir, just because it is medium bodied and the, the aromas, I mean, they literally pull you into the glass immediately. I love it. The Real Review scored this wine 95 out of 100. Um, in a competition with um, Pinot Noir from Geelong, it was ranked 8th out of 31. Best to drink between uh, now and 2030, sometime in the next nine years. I'm afraid we didn't get a food match from um, the winemaker, but after I've tasted the wine, I've made up my own sort of food match. I think it's quite a flexible wine. You could have it with any um, tomato-based pasta sauce. You could have it with any leaner red meats, I think pork, chicken, any sort of root vegetables. I mean, if you're feeling really fancy, have it with a cheese and ham sandwich. It's quite a flexible dish. When you have a medium bodied red, if you're looking at having something you classic would have a Chardonnay with, and you feel like a red wine, that's when I'd move to a Pinot Noir. Cheers, here's the Pinot.